We're, but be we're better than that. I do want to get my Maury Povich on <laughs> and say that wow. I have the envelope, and we can definitively say, I'm just going to look at my, my results here, yeah. the quickening results. <laughs> Ned Stark is not the father. Uh, wow. Yeah. He would be taking this really badly if his hit wasn't carried in a separate well, place. Saying, if there was ever any mystery, because that was, you know, Kat obviously never really quite loved John because she thought yeah, he was no, the... More, to more than that, yeah. yeah. She actively loathed him. Yeah. yeah. So I feel like, considering that John, you know, became a king this episode and found out more... Well, he didn't find he out didn't more. He didn't find out, but we did. We and that John's... Influence over the show only grows out of Tower of Joy, right? Right. So the yes. other thing I would say, and then I'll, I'll, I'll put this to you, is that well, we should say John super... won the week <laughs> just just for this week. Yeah, yeah. John won the week. Yeah, there he is. Winner. He still looks sad. <laughs> but the winner. <laughs> what was the other thing you were going to say? Contemplating. Though? It was really cool. It's been really cool to be able to maintain the mystery for this long, despite the the level and the volume of the theorizing. A lot of people thought they knew the answer, mm -hmm. but still, it, that didn't at all lessen the impact of finding out for sure. And yet, one massive mystery is solved and another one yeah. is open because yeah. we don't hear who the thought yeah, is. The Weirwood Network dropped the call at a yeah. very crucial it. moment. Yeah, well, so, well, I mean, right when Liana is telling Ned what she, she's saying, promise me, Ned, promise me, but before that, drops out a little bit, Robert would kill him, but we don't know why. What could she be talking about? Well, let me, let me set the, the stage. The precipitating event of Robert's Rebellion was Rhaegar Targaryen, um, the, the Crown Prince, the Crown Prince, son of the Mad King, uh, kidnapped Lyanna Stark or something, whisked her off, um, and that is the place where he had deposited her is where Ned finds her, the Tower of Joy. In Dorne. In Dorne. Okay. Um, so now we know that John is a Targaryen for sure, but. Um, there's a few things in there that suggest it, the popular, the popular choice is definitely Rhaegar, but maybe it could be the Mad King as oh. the father. So why would it, why could it possibly because, be the Mad King? Because, uh, he had a history of producing very troubled pregnancies, um, with Queen Rayla. Uh, I think something like eight of their 12 pregnancies were miscarriages and or stillborn children. Um, so... I mean, it's not, it's not hard evidence, but it's a suggestion. And then the way that you don't actually hear who the guy it, it is, it's like... It extends the mystery. Yeah, yeah. And, and if that's the case, then John is actually Danny's half-brother. Which means he is directly, theoretically, would have been in line for the throne? He would have to have been legitimized. 